In this presentation, we're going to look at the harmonic mean. The harmonic mean, we're going to denote here as H. There's actually a couple of other ways of denoting it. For example, uh, X bar sub, uh, subscript H. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just stick with H for the time. Uh, it's not the only way of denoting the harmonic mean, but it's just the easiest for the time being. Uh, the formula is simple, but not exactly the most simple uh, formula we've ever seen. So, uh, suppose we have a sample here, x1, x2, x3, x4, all the way up to xn. What we do here is we will get the reciprocal of each and add them up. For example, uh, suppose we have x1 is 2, the reciprocal of that would be 1 half. Suppose the next item is 3, then we'd add 1 third, 1 over 3. So well, this is 5, that'd be plus 1 over 5, and so on. So, that is the denominator of this expression. The numerator is actually quite simple, the sample size, how many items there are. So if there's five items of the data set in your sample, then the numerator of your expression is simply five. It's straightforward enough actually. Um, okay, let's do a quick example. So suppose we have a data set here, seven and nine, very two, uh, easy, two, uh, um, two, example, uh, two items there in our sample. Uh, seven and nine, uh, so 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 and let's just start this again numerator is the number of items 2 okay so uh, the first item is 7 so 1 over 7 then the next item is 9 so 1 over 9 okay uh, let's work that out um, so 2 bit of cross multiplication helps here with the numerator so cross multiplying that out we would get um, 16 over 63 okay and we can go a little bit further there we can uh, multiply above and below the numerator and the denominator by 63 so we get 126 over 16 you can work that out in your calculator uh, what to do there uh, I'm going to just sort of put a little counter example suppose I add in um, three. Okay, what what happens then? Okay, so we have to start again here. What's the harmonic mean now? So we have one over seven plus one over nine. We'll also add in one over three. And the sample size is now three, so th a three goes up here. Okay, working that out, we will get uh, three over uh, let's put everything over 63, that worked the last time, S uh, 7 so 9 plus 7 plus 21 over 63 so it would work out to be 3 uh, over 37 divided by 63 or in other words that would be 189 divided by 37 Again, a little bit of calculator work. The answer should be around 5.5, 5, between 5 and 6, something like that. Okay, let's look at a real world example. This is um, where we would use uh, the harmonic mean. So, pump machine. So, this is two machines. The first machine takes six hours to fill a, fill a swimming pool with water. Okay, so six hours. The second machine would take four hours to fill the same swimming pool with water. Okay, so four and six, what's the harmonic mean of that? What we're interested in here is how long does it take it to fill the swimming pool if using both machines together? Okay, so using machine one and machine two together. Now, necessarily, it should speed up the job. Okay, but how do you do that? Well, the answer is what we do is we compute the harmonic mean, okay, and divide it by the number of machines. This is where you would use the harmonic mean, actually, uh, these sort of uh, engineering jobs. So, there's a sort of rationale for that that I'll sort of talk a little bit about at the end. So, harmonic mean divided by the number of machines or the number of servers or number of operators okay so it's a straightforward enough job 
So here I've just done it out. H equals 2. The first machine was going to do it in 6 hours. Okay, the, the second machine could do it in 4 hours. So working that out, we get a harmonic mean of 48 over 10, 48, uh, uh, 4.8. Okay, but we're, uh, we're using both machines together. Okay, so it's the on average it, uh, it's essentially if, if uh, essentially 2.4 hours okay would it's how long it would take to swim you swim uh, fill the swimming pool if we're using both machine one and machine two together okay I've, I've sort of a little uh, sort of more put a bit more rationale uh, onto that uh, uh, in it shortly suppose we have a third uh, pump machine uh, that can fill the swimming pool in three hours. Now using all three machines how long would it take to fill up the swimming pool? So this time we have three machines okay uh, one takes three hours, one takes four hours, one takes six hours so the harmonic mean of that a uh, little bit of algebra three divided by eight, uh, eight uh, one third is eight over twenty four a quarter is 6 over 24 and 1 6 is 4 over 24 that is 18 over 24 if you add them all up 72 uh, 72 over 24 is 3 sorry you should put that as that's 72 over 24 so the harmonic mean here is 4 hour uh, 4 hours but we're using three machines so how long does it take to switch yes uh, fill up the swimming pool h over n 4 hours divided by 3 so the answer is 1.33 hours Let's just put a sort of a, as a sort of set of promised a, a a bit of a sort of a uh, so the four hour machine can fill one quarter of the pool in one hour. The six hour machine. can fill one-sixth of the pool in one hour and the three-hour machine can fill one-third of the pool in one hour okay so a quarter plus a sixth plus a, a third that's actually three quarters that's actually something we worked out already that's 18 over 24 which is three quarters so how many so if it could, if the if all three machines working together uh, in the first hour one quarter of the pool will be filled up so uh, or sorry three quarters of the pool will be filled up in the first hour so for the the remaining quarter you just need another third of an hour that's it really that's how it sort of makes sense uh, it's actually once you think about it like that it's actually quite easy all right that's the harmonic mean uh, this is just a sort of one last remark actually the harmonic mean is used in uh, computer science as this thing called the F score or F measure. I have that done separately. It's the harmonic mean again. Uh, it's a very simple a application of uh, the harmonic mean, but in this instance, I'm just concentrating on the harmonic mean and how to calculate it.